there are a lot of factors that um, play the role in this housing crisis, in, in the situation that we find ourselves in right now. Uh, on one hand, you have the obvious situation with the uh, securitized loan market. And generally speaking, what we have discovered right now is that probably with uh, in many cases, we should have had better underwriting standards and uh, households uh, should have been better educated in what obligations and what implications they have when, when they take on a mortgage. So that's very much on the demand side. And obviously, when you couple that with slow economic growth, that doesn't make a pretty picture. Now, on the other side, on the supply side, we also see a lot of speculation uh, by developers to uh, overbuild in certain areas, and that can, could have been a result of the uh, low interest rate, low short rate environment that we have seen in the past few years. So when you put all the things together, some of, some of, the, some of the factors you can see were more important, more, more local in the nature, but many we, we do see a kind of a more national trend in them. This is not the first time in history that lenders lend to people who shouldn't have got a loan. I mean, for example, back in Japan a few decades ago, they made a lot of loans with inadequate risk analysis, very poor underwriting, uh, very little documentation, and back then there was no securitization. So in a time of crisis like this, we all look to the government and feel like, well, someone should have held them accountable, someone should have done something, and someone should do something right now. And I think there is a risk of overdoing it that if you stifle uh, the, the private sector too much, there is a risk of making, for example, lending to cumbersome a process, to unprofitable a process, that we might see some adverse effect coming from it. The robo-signing controversy was about how some of the lenders being so overwhelmed by the sheer number of papers and homes they need to review started not paying so much attention to the paperwork and have some of the employees, in fact, just blindly putting a stamp or a signature on the papers to start the foreclosure proceedings. So for the affected at home owners, this is not exactly a fair or uh, a careful procedure that they deserve. I find it surprising that many home owners, in fact, hold on to their mortgages and even keep paying their second mortgage when a strategic default would have been financially beneficial. And it could have been either due to a fear of damage to their credit or uh, just to their reputation in general, or maybe a sense of pride. Recovery in housing markets typically takes a while. That is because even in a normal market, houses don't get sold every single day. So even if, let's say that someone would have been willing to buy a house at a higher price, unless that's an actual transaction, because of mobility, because they were moving, because there was some demographic changes, we're not going to see that price increase reviewed in data that we can see. Going forward, I believe the government and uh, other agencies can make sure that people know what they're getting into when they sign a debt contract. And we have seen that they have been very uh, creative and very um, um, kind of new mortgage products coming out that, that the average homeowner might not have been able to understand. So we can work on that.